21 sent you that cannot respect their husband. If a woman can come out for three hours to gossip another man or gossip another woman, talk shit on another man, another woman, she automatically tell the world the kind of husband she is married to. A man that cannot control the wife is not the man enough. As a man, you need to be able to control your wife. Look at them on social media. I sleep with this one. This girl sleeps with me. This will not be you get picking. Okay? This will not be you get picking. But I will analyze it one after the other. We'll start with uh, I was privileged to be able to watch their comedy skit. I call it comedy. They are Nollywood. I was privileged to be able to watch it over the weekend, Easter weekend, and it was really, really fun. Right? I will start with a few ones that I know. Let's start with Eddie Murphy. I watched Eddie Murphy briefly for about 20 minutes. It wasn't making any sense. I had to go. This is somebody that told us a few months ago that he was a pastor. Coming back online, shouting for three, four hours. Ooh, ooh. It doesn't make sense, Eddie. Eddie, you are a grown man. You should be an elder state man in Germany. You have lived there for over 20 years. What you should be doing is looking for ways you can associate or bring all other people in Germany together. After living in Germany for 20 years, an elder state man, you are married to a chief of Benin Kingdom, a respectable chief of Benin Kingdom, Bob Izwa. You are married to the daughter. What you should be doing with your platform is to see how you can bring all the Edo organizations in Germany together. There's an Edo organization in Aachen, Hamburg, Frankfurt, Dusseldorf, all these places in Germany. You can use your platform to bring all the Edo's in Germany together because you are married to a chief daughter. Doing this will make the other being so happy. Instead, you come online, you don't ever make sense, you gossip people, my brother. All this social media saga, you started it, Eddie. You started it. You started it with me when I was in Germany. You remember how you started it? So you need to chill, bro. You're a grown man. You should be finding solutions to problems, not putting more fuel, more fire in the problems. Now we'll go to the one I call himself, Eruwala. I don't really have know him. I don't have a relationship with him. I've seen him one or two times. Look, man, I'm so disappointed at you. The one I call himself, Eruwala. I'm so, so disappointed in you, man. I met him, I think I've seen him one or twice in, uh, I've seen him in, uh, UK or in Belgium or something like that. I'm so disappointed at him. You want to call himself Eddie Wilder? How can a grown man come online to start discussing on a talk show on how he met a woman, a side chick, on how uh, she, he slept with her, how he rented an apartment, how he bought her a car, how they went to the station, how they gave her 500k? Come on, bro. Come on, man. Come on, bro. Come on, let's be sincere. Come on, big bro. Come on. Eruwala, 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 Eruwala. Come on, come on, man. You don't do that. Even if you cheated, must you come online to re narrate everything? How you how it happen? Does how does that make you look, bro? How do you think your wife would feel about that? Why you had a wife? You were sleeping with another girl. Okay, let's assume the girl got pregnant. And you come back online to start narrating how you slept with the girl and all that. That's that was too childish. That was way too damn too childish. This is a fact. Anybody that don't agree with that, then something is obviously wrong with that person. For a man to come online to analyze how he slept with the side chick, knowing that you are fully married. Well, for the side chick, I cannot really blame you because uh you're dating a married man. That's the situation in Nigeria. All right, many young women, especially the Nollywood actress, they are all dating married men just to survive. So it is a situation we find our country. That is why many single women go around dating a married man because they benefit more from that. So I cannot really blame the side chick, but I blame the man for coming outside to narrate how this happened. I hope he can take a change in that. And for the uh, for the young daughter. And uh, I think that if the man is the father of the child, he should take responsibility of that. 
it is only a lazy man that will have a child by any circumstances and say, you know what, this is not my child. Or because I told you I don't want the baby, I'm not going to take care of the child. That's too lazy. A God sent foundation take care of thousands of children who we don't even know. Over the weekend, we, we caught over 30 children here. We don't know them. We have children in school. Over 20 and 220 students are attending school for free. These are not our children. So as a man, if you have made a mistake, and uh, you can correct it. The young lady, Shine, is just asking to say, you know what, this is your child. Take responsibility. It's not a big deal. Appeal to your wife. Obviously, I'm sure that the woman is a nice woman. Mama Wyla, I have not met her before. I don't know her. But for a man to be bold enough to come online to talk about the side chick, it means that the woman in question, the wife in question, which is Mama Wala, she's okay with it. So please, my dear brother, Papa Wala, do the needful and take responsibility of your child. If it is your child, if you don't believe it's your child, do a DNA. And I have made a public post. I will pay for it. If the money is the issue, I have made a public post that I will pay for the DNA between Shine and Uwala so that peace can reign. And for, for Shine's husband, Mr. Osemige, I saw your video. I want to commend you for a proper, well-documented video. And that's what men do. Defend your wife. That is what men do. Paying school fees of another man's child is respectable for that alone. For the reason, for the fact that you are paying school fees of almost 40,000 naira for a child that you did not give birth to. You are not using that child, uh, despite the fact that you have your own child support that you are paying. You are still helping another man's child. Man, you too bam. You too bam. Big boy not be to the make mouth. So they say, hey, party, say party, big boy, and the impacts, what you they make. So my brother, Mr. Osemige, you are a great man, and I truly appreciate that about you. Okay? Uh, who, else, who else did I watch? Okay, for the ladies, Lolo and Monica, uh, you know, look, man, Lolo and Monica, these are the same women who team up when I had issue with my wife. They were sending my wife messages. So many of it. All right? Women, be careful the kind of women you take as role model. Be careful of the kind of women you listen to. Majority of these women on social media who hate genocide. There was a time Monica said she asked Magbola, me, genocide. There was a time Monica came online to say that she has Magbola. She said every negative thing about me. She and her friend Lola. Many of you saw that. But the God of genocide will continue to embarrass those people who do not want us to see a better day. The God of Dionosege will continue to embarrass all those persons who don't want us to see a better day. Look at the embarrassment of them. I watched Monica yesterday. Yes, I do watch the video because there's nothing to do right now. Everybody's on lockdown. Monica said, oh, Lolo, go and swear. Go and bridge your paper that Austin did not send one guy Austin. I don't even know where that is coming from. Go and swear. This one, go and swear. Look at them. If I was their man, I either walk away from that relationship until I find the truth. But obviously, we are living in a Western world where many men are not considered common men. A woman, if somebody will come out now and tell me, uh, accuse me that they slept with my wife, and I will still be staying, staying in the same house, I will still be saying, okay, nothing they happen. No, we need proof. And this is not the first time somebody is accusing Monica that they slept with her. Good luck, Jonathan, came out to narrate the incident they had with Monica. Look, look at them now. Believe in the God of Dionosage. Only the God of Dionosage can save you. Embarrassment upon embarrassment. It's so shameful. It's so shameful. It's so, 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 so shameful what these women living abroad are doing to their men. A lot of men are dying in silence, guys. Men, men, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. We are dying in silence. We. Marriage is not a do or die affair, man. If you know your wife is cheating on you, you don't need to keep covering up. You can move on. You can start a new life. Than dying in pain. A lot of men are being abused every day. Being cussed at, being slapped, being locked out, being called the police on. This is an abuse. It is the emotional abuse of men that creates the physical abuse on women. 
it is the emotional abuse of men by their wives and girlfriends it does what crazy physical abuse in every physical abuse there has been an emotional abuse that the man has been keeping so so calmly of course in every physical abuse to a woman i am not supporting abuse but in every abuse most of let's use let's not say in every let's say most of the abuse that is that happened to women it is created by the emotional abuse that the men have gone through you will hear in america one man killed a wife she was a nurse maybe after this man have trained this woman the woman started disrespecting him over and over again he got fed up so all these are achievable all these are attributes and please my dope people man let's come together let's uh, leave the past in the past those of you who have made mistakes confess the truth shall set you free look at the onosage today the onosage that you guys hated so much the onosage that you guys lied on look at look at you guys the other month ago the other one went travel somewhere to meet a married man and wore the married man's uh, wife clothes the other one who said that she is the river goddess she went to one country went to wear a married man clothes the wife came they beat him up beat her up and all those things look at the other one Man, the, the cases are endless and i'm actually truly 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 very very ashamed to be classified as an adult man i'm ashamed if you know the shame me the shame this easter where the world are celebrating the resolution of jesus christ our adult people this easter good friday when we are supposed to be doing good when we are supposed to be kind to our neighbors all we were doing is fighting each other online this has got to stop I'm calling on every social media presenter, repackage yourself. Let's do good for our people. Use your platform. Even if the people that is following you is only donating 1,000 naira, at the end of every month, you'll be able to achieve a project. So far this year, a God sent foundation has spent over 15 million naira helping people in those states with this same platform that you have. So it's achievable. Let's talk about the other one. The other one was you near. Know, watch on that guy. There's a guy in Italy with BS that I always talk. Woo, woo, woo. There's a guy. What's the guy called? Ah, I was watching him. The one that they get two hundred thousand. One of the boys they get two hundred thousand. Those are cheap boys in Central boys in Europe. How can a man? You call yourself a man. You have a platform. You will come out to start judging a case that happened between a man and a woman. The Europe government need to stop this. It is the Europe government that is making our our people lazy. Because the Euro government give them free house, give them a uh, child benefit, give them food stamp, give them everything. If a person have to work 10 hours every day to pay their bills, this will not be happening. You can look around in the countries like America and Canada, where people actually work full time. You can barely see all this nonsense online because people are at work. Look at my friend, Eran Amigo, who was also against me. Since Eran Amigo started a full time job or he started school, it doesn't come online anymore. Let's go back to Benin City. Let's look at the case of our brother, uh, Osako Nokodi, comrade. Before he started C of O, he was always online talking about politics. But these days, he do more of uh, C of O than politics. So these are changes that can happen within us. I am appealing with the depth of my heart that we all, it is time. It is time we all come together. It is time we stop this nonsense. It is time we stop this rubbish. Let's make impact that will benefit our generation. Our children are looking at us. The price of cement is still 4,000 naira. There is kidnapping in those states. There is no electricity in our city center. Our children are homeless. There are so many things we can do with our platform. I am so sad. My heart is broken to see the way our people are acting. It's not funny. It's not even funny anymore. Women cannot be trusted, men cannot be trusted, friends cannot be trusted, marriage cannot be trusted. What kind of life are we living in? You marry a wife, you're thinking you have a good woman, but you don't know what she's doing behind you. You have a friend thinking you can confide in your friend, but you don't know where your friend is taking your name. You don't know who your friend is discussing with. My friends, partners, gossip family, please don't ever be a part of gossip. Because people who gossip to you will also gossip about you.
people who gossip to you will also gossip about you my dear brothers and sisters okay so i don't want to talk on that too much i just wanted to i just want to put in my own little sense on you know okay not be good luck Jonathan. I, I just wanted to put in my own little sense as much as they are making noise online as much as they, as they hate me as much as they're gonna say about me i love them all i have nothing against anyone even with everything monica and lola did to me when i was in torino i saw them and still showed them love even as everything um eddie murphy did to me i still love him even the all the insult if you need you, all these people poured on me i still love them because they are my sisters i make them they are my sisters they are my brothers we are all going to make mistakes at some point but coming online fighting each other is not called for man no we have to call names we have to call names it's not called for so please guys i love you all all the social media presenters i love you all from the depth of my heart let's continue to promote good causes in our community let's make edo proud i may likely not take my children back to edo state right because i mean after raising children here in in the lights they not take them back to the village a country where they take light where the, the city don't even have electricity that's you are not taking your child to vacation i i recommend that every woman every family should not take their children to nigeria for vacation because you are putting your children at risk how can you take a, a vacation is a place of relaxation when you go to nigeria you are in distress imagine picking will grow up for like 10 years you will decide i'd like to you take oh now i'm not problem now they hear me so so my dear brothers and sisters i've heard my part and uh i think that's in, that's enough time invested in that so i want to appeal and appreciate everyone to please come together and work as a team okay if you know that you get somebody uh you don't say you give i mean go go do what you need to do man it's not a big deal do what you need to do now person not a person married seven wife uh eh? now person married seven wife now uh this is regina husband you get seven wife so it's not a it's not a big deal man accept your responsibility take care of your child if you know you cheated on your husband you know and they are calling for a dna prove you're innocent if you know you don't want to do dna it means that you are guilty it's as simple as that hello guys you welcome back thanks for watching the video i hope you did enjoy the video if you did please subscribe to my youtube channel and while you are at that don't forget to click on the notification bell so that next time when my video drops you will be notified and one more thing i'd like to say is that if there's anything that you guys would like me to change like in addition or an increase to anything i'm doing with my video production or in like a reduction or decrease or take away from my video production don't hesitate to leave your comment or your suggestion your opinions on the comment section and believe me i read every comment and now no what changes to be made thank you all so much for watching once again bye